हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर सच मोर वीडियोस नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व ट्वेल्व सेवन प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट अ पार्टिकल मूव्स अलोंग अ स्ट्रेट लाइन सच दैट इट्स पोजीशन इज डिफाइंड बाय दिस राइट सो वी आर गिवन अ पोजीशन फंक्शन एस ऑफ टी इज गिवन विच इज टी स्क्वेयर माइनस सिक्सटी प्लस फाइव एंड दिस इज इन मीटर्स राइट and it is said they determine the average velocity so we are asked to find the average velocity so average velocity is equal to total displacement divided by time total time taken right and the we are asked to find the average speed as well so average speed is total distance divided by time taken and the acceleration of the particle and we are asked to find all these at time equals to 6 second right so we are asked to find acceleration at 6 second as well so for this first we need to find the velocity equation right so the velocity function is ds by dt so we have to integrate this uh, position function so when we integrate this so we will get 2t minus 6 and if we want to find the acceleration so then we will have to take the derivative of this since acceleration is dv by dt right so the when we take the derivative of acceler uh, of the velocity function so then this will be equal to 2 so this means that the acceleration is constant right so this is this means that acceleration is equal to 2 meter per second square right so this means that acceleration at 6 second will also be 2 meter per second square right so we got this answer so acceleration at 6 second is 2 meter per second square and if we find the if we want to find the average uh, velocity so we have to find the displacement the displacement delta s right so delta s will be equal to so this will be equal to s uh, s6 minus s0 right since we have to find this for t equals to 6 second right so if we find s0 this s0 means that t we are considering time equal to 0 second right so if we put t equals to 0 in this equation right so we will get this s0 so this will be 5 right and s6 if we put uh, t equals to 6 in this equation right in this function so this will be 6 squared minus 6 into 6 plus 5 right so this is 36 minus 36 so again it comes out to be 5 so s6 is 5 again right so if we find the displacement so then 5 minus 5 so this is equal to 0 so this means that the average velocity is equal to this is delta s divided by 0 and the time taken so the time taken will be 6 minus 0 right so we are finding the average velocity for 6 seconds time interval right so 0 divided by 6 so this means that the average velocity is 0 meter per second to find the average speed we have to find the total distance traveled right so first we will find that the time at which the velocity will become 0 right so if we equate this velocity equation this velocity function equals to 0 if we write that this v of t which is 2t minus 6 if this is equal to 0 so then t will be equal to 6 divided by 2 which is 3 second so this means that the particle stop at time equals to 3 second right so initially when t is 0 second so the particle as 5 meters away from the origin right so if i draw if this is the origin right let's say that this is s equals to 0 meters right so this is the origin so at time equals to 0 right so if this is s naught right so this s naught is 5 meter right so when time is equal to 0 so then the particle is here initially right so initially the particle is here right and when t is 6 seconds the particle is again here right so we can write that at t equals to 6 second the particle is again here right 
and from this when we equate this uh, velocity function equal to 0 so we get 3 seconds so this means that at after 3 seconds the particle has changed its position right so let me find that position at t equals to 3 seconds the particle has changed its direction of motion at 3 seconds right so if we find s of 3 if we put t equals to 3 seconds in this equation so then this will be 3 3 square so it is 9 minus 18 plus 5 so this is uh, minus 9 plus 4 so this is minus 4 so s3 is minus 4 so this means that after 3 seconds the particle is somewhere here right where the s is equal to minus 4 meters right and this is s3 so at t equals to 0 the particle is here and this means that it started as its motion towards left and it reached at this point and then it turned back and then it, it reached this point again right so now we can find the total distance from this data from this plot right so now we can find the total distance traveled right so this means that this this distance times 2 right so first it travels uh, from initial position to this point and then it traveled back to the original position right so we we can write it like this so this is minus 4 right so this will be 5 5 minus minus 4 absolute value right so this is this distance right so when initially when the particle moved from 0 seconds to 3 seconds right so for this time interval from 0 to 3 seconds if we solve this so this is 5 plus 4 so the total distance traveled this distance is 9 meters right so from 0 to 3 second interval the particle has traveled 9 meters towards left right and then we will write plus then the particle has changed its direction of motion and then it traveled the in the opposite direction and it traveled the same distance right so if we again find this distance so then this will be 5 minus minus 4 and we will take the absolute so again this will be 9 so this is from 3 seconds to 6 seconds right so this means that the total distance traveled is 9 plus 9 so this is equal to 18 right and the time taken for this total distance is how much so this is 3 seconds so 6 minus 0 so this is time taken delta t for this is 6 seconds right so if we want to find the average speed so average speed is equal to total distance divided by total time so total distance traveled is 18 and time taken is 6 so the average speed is 3 meter per second and now as we can see from this simple diagram that initially the particle was here and then it reached back to this position so the displacement the displacement covered is 0 right so we have written it here as well right so the displacement was 0 right so displacement is equal to the final position minus initial position right so the final position is 5 initial position is 5 so the displacement is 0 right so that is why the average velocity is 0 right so this is the solution of this problem